Whilst at Harrenhal, which has been abandoned by the Lannister forces, Talisa questions Rob's harsh treatment of his mother, nurses an expelled former maester, Kyburn, back to health. Later, when recalling to Rob about her mother's prejudices towards Westerosi, Ruse Bolton arrives with the news of Hoster Tully's death and that Winterfell has been sacked with Bran and Rickon Stark still missing. Rickard Karstark, who has lost faith, bluntly tells Rob that he lost the war the day he married Talisa. While traveling to River Run for Hoster Tully's funeral, Talisa notices that Caitlin is making a prayer wheel for the faith of the seven. Talisa offers to help her, but Caitlin explains that they can only be made by mothers who are praying for the welfare of their children. When Talisa asks her mother-in-law if she made them before, Caitlin says twice, most recently for her younger son Bran to survive his fall shortly before the present war began. Caitlin then goes on to reveal to Talisa that the first time she made one was many years earlier for Jon Snow, Rob's half-brother, when he came down with the pox, something Caitlin attributed to her prayers for Jon to die and which she repented by promising to love him like her own. Talisa asks if Jon survived, and Caitlin responds that he did, but that she was unable to keep her promise. Upon her arrival at Riverrun, she attends Hoster's funeral. While at Riverrun, she comforts Rob and attempts to help him with his battle strategizing. She tends to two wounded young Lannister squires. After they are murdered by Rickard Karstark in a petty revenge on Jamie Lannister, she and the rest of Rob's family urge Rob to spare Karstark and send him to the Night's Watch after the war in order to keep the Karstarks, but their pleas fall on deaf ears and Rob beheads him, leading to the Karstark army abandoning Rob and leaving his numbers depleted. Rob later admits to Talisa that he should have listened to her advice. She suggests that he try to take the fight to the Lannisters if they won't come to him, but he explains that attacking the capital would be suicide. She then asks if leading his army back to the north to repulse the Greyjoys and rebuild his power base would be more beneficial. Rob points out that as soon as all of his tired soldiers are back home, they won't want to leave again when winter comes. Rob decides that with the main Lannister army group under Tywin now positioned in King's Landing, he could attack Castly Rock. However, the loss of the Karstarks has made such an effort impossible, forcing Rob to re-ally with House Frey, with which he had spurned in his marriage to Talisa. On the road to the twins, Brynden Tully remarks on their lateness, as well as the fact that Walder Frey will take insult to this. He then apologizes for his coarse language, but Talisa states that she is used to such verbiage due to her time around wounded soldiers. After a passionate session of lovemaking with Rob, Talisa writes a letter to her mother in her Valyrian mother tongue. She teases Rob over his limited knowledge of the language before asking him to visit Volantis with her after the war is over, as Talisa would like to introduce her mother to her husband and her grandchild. It takes a moment for the news of her pregnancy to sink in and the couple happily embrace. When Rob and his supporters reach the twins, Lord Walder Frey inspects Talisa and insists that Rob broke his marriage pact not for love, but for firm tits and a tight fit. His salacious remarks stir Rob to anger, but Caitlin firmly places a hand on his arm to pacify him before he does anything rash. Lord Frey quickly alleviates the tension by claiming he would have broken fifty vows without a second thought, to be with a woman like Talisa at Rob's age. After Edmer Tully marries Roslyn Frey, Rob jokes that perhaps he made a mistake in marrying Talisa, who feigns offense. She is bewildered by the traditional Westerosi betting, which Rob explains proves that the marriage was consummated. Talisa replies that their unborn child is proof enough, and suggests that if it is a boy they name him Eddard after Rob's father, which Rob agrees to. After the betting, the doors are closed and the musicians begin playing the reigns of Castamere, which visibly makes Caitlin uneasy. Lord Walder rises to toast Rob, stating that he has yet to give his new queen a wedding gift. Realizing they have been betrayed, Caitlin slaps Ruse across the face and yells a warning to Rob, but by then it is too late. As a startled Talisa sits at a table, Lothar Frey approaches her from behind and begins to repeatedly stab her in the stomach with a dagger, fatally wounding her and killing her unborn child. At that moment, Rob and his men are either shot by the musicians with crossbows or set upon by Frey soldiers. Talisa rises in an attempt to flee but instantly collapses due to her wounds and dies minutes later in her husband's arms. The death of Talisa and their child sends Rob into a state of shock, and he remains holding her in his arms as his men are slaughtered around him. Moments later, 
Rob and Caitlin are then killed by Ruse Bolton and Black Walder Rivers, respectively. While the deaths of Rob and Caitlin and how their bodies were desecrated by the phrase are discussed in detail by friends and foes alike, what happens to Talisa's body in the aftermath remains unknown.